Okay, so now we're going to talk about coordinate systems here in Cinema 4D. This can be a little bit dry, but this is something that you really need to understand. It's very important when you're working in 3D. So in 3D space, the smallest area is a point. Each point is defined by a unique set of three numbers called coordinates. As an example, a point in 3D space would be 0, 0, 0, which is going to be the middle of your 3D world. Each point in virtual space is specified by three numbers representing horizontal, vertical, and depth components. Now an axis is an imaginary line in 3D space that defines a direction. There are three standard axes that are represented by X, Y, and Z. And if we just look right here, we can see that X is the red, Z is the blue, and Y is the green. Z also goes backwards and forwards, X left and right, and Y up and down. You will also find those in the middle of your 3D world, X, Z, and Y. These are what we refer to as your world coordinates. In addition to world coordinates, we have what is called object coordinates. And this is basically just the local coordinate system of an object. So each object has its own coordinate system. So if I put a few objects in here and we can just take a look, we can see that when we select them, they have their own coordinate system. And if I turn it like this and turn this one like that, we'll flip this one like this. If we come back and look at these, we can see that the coordinate system is different than the world coordinate system. The object coordinate system is different than the world coordinate system. And why do we have object and world? It's a good question. Objects need to have their own coordinate system so that we can scale and rotate them relative to themselves. At the same time, we need to have the world coordinate system so that we can move these objects around the scene or animate them in the scene relative to the world coordinate system. Now, this is one of those concepts in 3D that may not just jump out at you as being understandable at first blush, but the more that you work in 3D, the more you'll start to understand them and realize the importance of it. So that's world and object coordinate systems here in Cinema 4D.